friends welcome to my next video there's a product called magic tap which looks like this and it's a water pump you put it in a four liter container and uh, sucks out the well it doesn't have to be water it could be juice um, a lot of people use it for milk stuff like that but um, anyway um, I had an idea that I could use it with a 19 liter water container and um, it would be a cheap way of getting uh, water out of container that would be spill proof and uh, not use hardly any power and not be um, noisy so I thought it was a genius idea let's see if my genius idea works So this is what we have currently. We got some uh, masking tape on the bottle and then we got some tape to hold this thing on, but it doesn't look very good, so I'm gonna try to improve that. This is like a 18.9 liter uh, water bottle thing. And uh, anyway, oh, my screwdriver fell. I got a hose in here. I'm going to take this out and show you guys, but there's a hose in there that's attached to the end of the pump. And um, basically you press this trigger and the water comes out of there. So I just bought this tubing and um, it's not food safe. So eventually I'm going to replace this with something that's more uh, safe for human consumption, you know, toxicity and all that stuff. Some people say, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, every little bit helps. That's my kind of opinion. And the hose in there as well is not food safe either. And that's the really important one because that's just submerged into the water. So I'm about to make an Amazon order. And when I do, I'm going to get some short amount of hose uh, to stick in there. That is food safe. But in the meantime, I'm just going to stick this on the end of here. Use my hose clamp to tighten it up. And then, instead of the the, uh, the spout being under there and it's kind of awkward, I'm just going to have this little uh, tube stick out and that way I'll have um, easier access and uh, less chance of spilling water. Well, I was hoping to use this one, cut the top off, or actually it would be like this so that the uh, silicone part of the magic tap can fit on here, but I um, don't think it's going to work. So uh, the reason it's not going to work is because it's going to make the top too high and I have all this measured out just to fit in here perfectly. So unfortunately that means I got to clean this one out and uh, use it because it's going to be way shorter and it's actually going to fit better too I think. So this is the magic tap. You get the from the bottom of the white thing to the top of the white thing there. Of course ignore the hose part that's what I put on. Um, it's like 10 bucks and uh, you know it's pretty cheap it's not the best thing in the world but I've used it now for a couple weeks just in the a really rough uh, method of using it and um, it's working so far it's very quiet you just press this button I don't know if you can even hear that if I bring the phone really close the camera really close anyway and then up, up here if 
I can do this with one hand. It's two AA batteries, rechargeable, of course. And uh, that's all you need to do is charge your batteries, put them in there. And I'm not even sure how full these batteries were. They had some energy, so I stuck them in there. But So unknown how long the batteries will last. And then this uh, piece right here is a silicon thing that's supposed to fit on the top. But um, if I force it on there, it's going to stretch it out. So I don't want to do that. So this piece cut off, cleaned out, and uh, that way hopefully I can just fix this in a way that I can take it off when I need to refill the bottle. That's the whole idea, to make this easy to refill um, and not spill anywhere when I'm driving. So I was just looking at this hose and look, it says food grade right on it, food grade PVC. Guess I don't have to buy another hose after all. That's awesome. Maybe I can type this into Google and see uh, like this number K10921, see what comes up and maybe I can read about it more. Because it is submerged into the water and uh, like I said earlier, I do want to be careful about toxins. And then this section just snugs on there. It's pretty tight now. Water is not going to spill out, but still removable. So you may have seen these frames in the background and say, hey, what are you doing with those things? Well, I'll tell you what I was going to do, but it ain't going to work because they're too big. I bought these from Ikea for like 10 bucks each, but the idea was they're going to be doors and I could just open them and then have access to my stuff but uh, and then put pictures of my kids in there problem is uh, they're too big this one maybe just barely fits but I want to have them even and this thing is definitely not going to work on this side so that's the way she goes have to return them and get some smaller ones Naturally, I'm going to put hinges in the back and uh, a way to make them more secure. Well, folks, didn't work. I got a problem. Now the the pump isn't pumping the water out, so I can't do this with one hand. But my finger is touching the uh, the trigger. But can you hear it? I took it all apart. I went and got new batteries. Uh, I can see the little um, pump moving inside pump has to be below the surface of the water it has to be submerged and I don't know why it was working before because I guess there was water in the uh, the hose that's connected to it and uh, I tried to mess with it and try to get it in the with the, the pump in the water again with with water in the hose and um, it doesn't make sense to me but it's not working, so now I'm either going to abandon the idea or I'm going to figure out a different way to um, maybe lengthen the, this inside tube and wire so that the actual pump goes to the bottom. But it's tricky because 
I don't want it to leak and because that whatever I put on there is going to be submerged in my drinking water um, I'm not a fan of uh, just having any old thing on there so if anybody has any ideas should I just abandon this idea altogether or what can I do to make this work please leave me a comment in the comment section below So there you have it folks, progress of a kind, at least I know what works and what doesn't work. And you know, sometimes you try things, doesn't work out, back to the drawing board, try something else. Thanks for watching, be well my friends.